Well, hello everyone and welcome back. So today I wanna to talk about step drill bits and how awesome they are and how useful it is to have one in your toolbox or your tool pouch and how they actually can outperform in certain situations than a traditional drill bit that you have here. So this is a step drill bit. They call it because step drill because it has a bunch of these steps and these steps are responsible for making different hole sizes as you can see right here this one made 10 different hole sizes in this thin sheet of uh, aluminum and it did it all with one bit on your drill this one you have 12 steps on this one and this one was responsible for this drill uh, step drill bit and that one can make 12 even though that it's in smaller size than this one so they come in all shapes or sizes and quality levels like this one's a milwaukee version it's like 45 dollars for one and it will outperform all of these kind of chinese looking ones but this one which i bought in a set of five different sizes as you can see there is tiny ones and then there is even smaller ones I think I bought a set of five for $20 on Amazon and they work perfectly fine. Now I did break one, I broke this one and I broke the tip off of it. So these are kind of cheaply made, hence the price, $20 for five, which is ridiculous. Uh, but it still works as long as the hole is pre-drilled, you can make a bigger hole because just the tip is broken. But either way, they're still nice to have, even at a cheap version, uh, just to make thin holes through thin steel, perfectly fine. If you wanna drill something thicker, then uh, you should get a really good quality one. But another thing I wanted to point out is this step drill bit, this biggest hole that this one can make is one inch and three eighths, okay? This is one of the biggest drill bits that I found that you can, I have a few of different sizes, but this is one of the biggest ones that I have for a standard size chuck on a drill. So anything bigger of a drill bit, they they make a bigger, it, it wouldn't fit in a regular standard uh, chuck of a drill. So you, you can probably, for a bigger one, you can put, probably put it in the CNC machine or a big drill press. But for some reason with these step drill bits, the way they cut, they make small increments in these steps, and this one is a lot bigger than this big drill set, uh, drill, uh, this drill bit, and it seems to cut with ease through metal. Now, just for a reference, this is one and three eighths, the biggest size. This one is the biggest drill bit that I have. This is huge. I mean, look at that. Look at the thumb compared to it's it's huge, guys. And look which one it fits. Let's see. It's it's right between one inch and seven eighths. So let's just call it one inch, three eighths to a half an inch. This one is bigger and it can cut in steps. But let me show you the real difference in how I see and feel like this can outperform a standard one. And like I said, it's, it's regarding thin sheet metal. Okay, so let me set that up and show you. So here we have a standard drill bit on my drill and I'm gonna attempt to drill a hole through the door and um, I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure on it because obviously I need to put pressure to drill the hole. So let's go. All right, not in uh, hammer mode. All right, as you notice the whole drill got um, pulled in to the metal and the reason why if I can take this off without ripping those pieces off this drill bit has these channels going along and as you're drilling is pushing all the material backwards and what happens is before it rips all the way through the hole it doesn't rip these little pieces off I don't know if you can see that let me zoom in Okay, see these things? 
it didn't completely shear off the circle for the full circle. It has these usually on both sides, this side and left and right, just like a drill bit looks in the front. You have these two channels. So if you are drilling and not and pushing at the metal, as soon as it makes it through, it doesn't shear off a perfect circle. It will pull this in. Let's see if I can go here. It will pull this in and see as I turn the drill bit, I can push it in. Actually, there's something in the back, but you see that? If I push, I can, I can only push it in as I turn the drill bit. Um, this one right here, let's say that's a hole, but it's not a perfect hole. It looks like a triangle that is circular. And if I wanted to put this bit in, as I'm trying to push it in, it's trying to follow the contour, even though these little burls are already broken off. So if you're trying to drill something on something thin with a standard drill bit, there's a really good chance that this can pull, poke through and pull through by the spiral channel and damage something behind here like the glass. If for whatever reason you were drilling a door and didn't want to damage any internals. So let me show you a step drill bit now. So here we are. I'm gonna put it on slow speed and I'm gonna drill it so you can hear the clicks. And the clicks are gonna be coming from every single time this makes it through the first step, it's gonna stop against the second step. When it goes through the second step, it's gonna stop against the third one and so on. And you're gonna hear those clicks. So when you finally make it through that hole size, it stops and doesn't allow you to completely jam through. All right. Okay, that one you really didn't hear as a step because it is a tiny little bit, but the further you go up, you can hear them. So that's a tiny little hole. I think it's a one, let's see, where's the number? 3 16th, the next hole size is quarter inch. So if you can try to listen to the step now, you can hear it click when it hits the next size. Okay, did you guys hear that? That's the next size. So if I continue doing that, it should keep on hearing clicks every single time it complete, it, it, goes up a size. You can't really hear the clicks now. It really depends how hard you push, but you can see the drill slowly moving step at a time, I guess. And I hit something in the back that won't allow me to push it through. So let me try to do this at a higher speed and you can see this drill um, moving in steps. You can also see every time I make it through a hole size, it, it jerks the drill. So let's just see how it actually uh, happens at high speed. All right, so just then I just made 12 different hole sizes. Um, if I went slow, you would have 12 holes approximately this size, which I made with this one. All right, guys, so I don't know if you see how awesome this is where you will not push your drill bit through to the other side every single time you make a different cut. So let's uh, drill a few holes, more holes, so you guys can see how that works. One hole. Two. Three sizes. Four. Five six, seven, and a bit into eight, I think. Nine, 10, a bit into 11. I'm going a little bit quicker than I need to. And I just went through two more sizes. So if you go really fast, you will not feel the steps, but I mean, look how awesome it is. You can make tiny ones from a hole like this to, well, not like that. So guys, these drill bits are very unique and they can be useful in certain situations. It's definitely nice to have some. Um, by the way, if you're wondering how I made this cutout here out of this car door. So here is the piece that I cut out of that door and the way I, I did it is with this nibbler. Now this is like $30 on Amazon and I will link, leave a link down below if you guys are interested. This goes on your drill and as you turn your drill, you can see this going up and down and it nibbles slowly and you can make any kind of pattern you want as long as it will fit inside this gauge. So I did a video separately on it. If you guys are interested, you can uh, look at one of my videos about the nibbler, um, double headed metal cutter and check that out. So guys, getting back to the step drill bits, I just wanna talk a little bit about them again. This is the Milwaukee version. 
it's priced for a reason. It's priced at like $45 to $40 because it outlasts these Chinese versions of them. But they, these versions are still good. Like I told you, that I think I bought five of them were in the bundle. And I'll leave that in the description where for $20, you can get five of these different steps. Like they come from this size to this size. I mean, different steps, different lengths of steps. And they're very useful to have, even though they're cheap, but you get five of them and uh, they're still useful around in certain situations. So I would recommend you guys getting something like this. If you're gonna keep it as a uh, tool that you use for work, you gotta get the good ones. Otherwise you will happen, you will have situations like tips breaking and them wearing out way before their time. But you get what you pay for. I will leave all of these descriptions, uh, links in the, in the description below for you guys. If you guys are interested, you can pick some of these up yourselves or just take a look at them and see if this is something that you guys wanna get. See you guys next time.